Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a 2007 Super Bowl champ who earned his ring right. as a wide receiver with the New York Giants. And currently, he's a part of a TV team as a co-host on our sister show, Daily Blast Live. Let's take a look. Regardless if you're Democrat or you're Republican, it's affecting our families. And Chris Wallace said that House Democrats passed six bills that will fund eight agencies unrelated to the border wall that will put them back to work right now. I'm talking agriculture, justice, Treasury Department. Why can't we just come together? You guys have been arguing the entire time. Think of a solution. All right now. Yes. All right. Please read. welcome Brandon London. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Thank you better have that passion. Y'all use that clip. Sorry if I smell like Waffle House. It's we don't all have right. too many of those out in Denver. So you got it in today, yeah, right? Had to. All Star Special. Yes. Oh my God. The syrup is delicious. It's okay to smell like something delicious. Yeah. Let me Thank just you tell you, me. you read the people down mm -hmm. on yeah. Daily Blast yes. live, and I am here for all of it. Mm. Thank you. I Thank really am. Well, we're such a diverse panel. You know, we got people from all walks of life, and they want us to be real. They yeah. want us to be transparent and really air our frustrations out. But the best thing about it is that even though we're having a discourse and it may look like it's getting heated right after, we, hey, you high five each other right, and you okay, say how right. I respect your opinion because at the end of the day, you could be Democratic, you could be Republican, black, white, blue, green, we all bleed the same yes, and we we're all right. going through the same struggles in life. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I tell you, you didn't really seem like you struggled at all on the football field <laughs> when, you, when you played football. I mean, you seemed like you just went through it with ease. Well, no, nah, I, I can't say that. You know, I, I wasn't a big star. You know, I uh, had to work my way mm -hmm. through there with the Giants. I was on the practice roster when we won uh, the Super Bowl. I spent, actually played with the Miami mm -hmm. Dolphins feeling like I'm going to have this high, I got real mm -hmm. cocky, I got real big head, then bam, there goes the fall. Oh, wow. God came through and had to humble Absolutely. me. So I went up to Canada, finished my career up there. Mm -hmm. And during my time up there, you know, you're having a great time. I'm working hard. I'm wanting to get back to the NFL. Bucket tear on my meniscus. Oh, wow. And right there is when I was like, you know what? I'm not Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to have life after football. Absolutely. So I started going out to L.A., taking on-camera training uh, okay. out with uh, Marky Costello out there. And then one thing led to the next, working with the New York Giants, mm -hmm. and then I got the Daily Blast Live gig. So, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I wish that Kurt Flanker was still in the audience right now because I want to tell him how, how his music got affected me oh, and, and got me through those times when you're sitting there and you're like, What's happening and what, next? What am I going to do? Yeah. God, what, just tell me. Mm -hmm. And that leap of faith got me out there to L.A. And wow. now I'm here at the sister circle. Yes, <laughs> yes. And we are we're your sisters yes. in television. Yes. And, yep. you know, DBL, it's the only show that is live in every U.S. time yes. zone and online. Yep. So what is your schedule like when something like that happens? Well, I get there at 730 for hair and makeup. You know, they got to <laughs> okay. fill in that hairline. You know, I don't want to go back like LeBron. <laughs> no, <see? laughs> but uh, I end up leaving at, at around 6. Um, we shoot nine, it could be nine shows or six shows. Depending okay. on where you are, you could get a full hour or some sh some areas only get 30 minutes, minutes of it, mm -hmm. which yeah. is great, though. And we encourage our viewer to, to chime in. Yes. So during our breaks on broadcast, it may go to the commercial. I know y'all get the same yep, commercials yes, we get. But if you're online, we're responding to comments. And we want our audience to really get in there and, and chime in because yeah. Yeah. those yeah. are the people. Yeah. You know, we, we want to hear what the people, and I think that's what, 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 our, what, that's what makes our show real. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, I love that. <laughs> so you're known for telling it like it is on the yeah. show. Clearly at the opening of our segment, we saw that. Uh, what are some of the stories that you're currently passionate about? Oh, I was really passionate about the Justice Smollett uh, mm -hmm. thing. You know, we were talking and I was just frustrated, yeah. you know. Yeah. As a black man, I was frustrated. You know, I have a father who was the first black head coach in the University of Virginia history. Nice. Yeah. And He's getting all types of calls and, hey, N-word this, you better win mm. this game and we want you out of here. Then I have a mother who, when we were kids, she used to line up our entire hallway with quotes and sayings with Marcus nice. Garvey, yes. Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. So I got the best of both worlds, yeah, sports did. and a very intellectual, strong black mm. woman to really raise me. So right there at that time, I'm not stupid anymore. I'm a woke athlete. You know? right. I'm not just out there trying to buy rings and, mm -hmm. and, and spinning rims, right. rims yeah. and all that. Right. I realized that the platform I have, what I say, can affect the youth in, in, a, in a huge way. So I, you know, I was really frustrated how people wanted to take the MLK approach and, and just, you know, light a candle for Jesse. You know, there's a lot of black people who were re really upset and wanted to take it to violence. But the thing is, what I love about our, our co-hosts who are, you saw in that, in that, uh, in that clip, Tori Showman, Sam Shocker, Bo Davidson, they calm me down. 
Mm. The social media comments calmed me down yeah. because it was like, that's not the way. That's not going to mm -hmm. get anything done. So I'm, I'm blessed to have co co-workers and co-hosts such as them um, to calm me down mm -hmm. and to really get me thinking straight from time to time. Ooh, yeah, that's okay. good. I that's see good. why they call you the cultured athlete. Yeah, yeah. 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 Earn that title. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, speaking of that, so which events do you plan to attend? Ah, oh, there's a Maxim party. Ray Lewis yes, is having yes. a party. And I'm also down here with the New York Giants as well. I do oh. TV stuff with them. Uh, Saquon Barkley is up for Rookie of the Year, so I'll be covering the red carpet for the NFL Honors event. Mm, nice. So shout out to Saquon yeah. for getting me down yeah. here. Yes. Well, really <laughs> quickly, we, we cannot have you here without showing that beautiful oh, piece oh, of this old thing? jewelry. <laughs> yes. I'm telling you, you gotta, gotta show the people. It's one of those moments, you know. It's I one mean, of those it moments. is blinged out. Like, but I don't, like, uh, Martellus Bennett was just here. He said he didn't have a good time. I was on the, I was dancing on couches like Kurt Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> After we won, like, I was in the club that night. It was just one of those experiences you worked so hard for. So, Ooh. you know, I'm blessing Michael Strahan. That was his last year. He's been yeah. a mentor now to me. And I'm just blessed to be in this situation oh, right now. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm sure we're going to cross paths yeah, this yeah, weekend. Sure. Sure. Yes, my sisters. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us thank today. And be sure to check your local listings for Daily Blast Live Monday through Friday. And don't forget to follow Daily Blast Live on Instagram.